Hi friends, welcome. Today we're going to see how we can use a generative AI in DevOps. So to do that, I'm going to use Kubia. Kubia is a company that contacted me, so this is a sponsored video. And um, I'm going to show you how we can create a workflow using a generative AI, and we can invoke the workflow using Slack. So there is a Slack integration. Essentially, what I'll try to do is um, running a workflow against my Kubernetes cluster. So you have a deployment, and I want to upgrade the image of that deployment. So it's very simple in theory, but uh, there are lots of moving parts and I'm going to show you how you can simplify all these steps and how you can make available such a workflow to developers. So this is incredibly easy to build a developer platform using uh, Kubia. So now let me show you how we can do this step by step. So if you go on app.kubia.ai, so you're prompted with this uh, window. So in here, you can uh, create a workflow. So we're going to do add workflow. So now let's simply type uh, what we want to do. So we're going to say given a Kubernetes namespace and a deployment prompt for the new image and replace it. So I'm going to click generate. So this should now do the AI part. So where it's going to come out with a solution to this type of problem. So we should get a workflow definition at the end of this. Cool. So we have our workflow. So let's set the name first. So this is, we want to update image, uh, deployment image. Okay, so now as you can see, we have a list of steps. Let me explain a little bit this UI. So here on the side, we have our runners. So in Kubia, you have the concept of runner. That is something running that has access to the infrastructure you want to modify. So in our case, we have two runners. We're going to use the first one. And this one is running on my Kubernetes cluster and has access to a list of actions. So you can install different action stores. On my, I installed the Kubernetes action store. And you also have additional steps that are standard. So like you can set up text or you can set up conditions and uh, buttons and other things. So now let's verify the generated workflow. So this one is doing this. So that's how you start the conversation. Then you have a function that calls a list of namespaces. So this is requesting a list of namespaces. Then we get prompted with a select namespace button. So we get from the list, we have to select one of them. And with the selected one, we generate a variable in the system. So select the namespace. Then I think we do the same for the Kubernetes deployments. We list them and we have then the selected deployment. Then we have an image name. So I think this one needs to be replaced because we have image name that is input value type string. But what we want is a, a text type of step. So what we can do, we can uh, take this name, copy. So we delete this and we put the text step in here. So now we have image name and we can also select the prompt um, insert the name of the image. So we do submit. So then we have validation step here. So this one is simply a message that will prompt us the image name. So the one we inserted in the previous step will be replaced in this deployment in namespace this. Do you want to continue? Okay, this looks okay. Now we have a condition based on what we select, yes or no. So let's see on the true branch. So we have a notification. So this is telling us what it's about to do. And then this one is replacing. So let's have a look at this. I think this one is probably not the correct one because it's patch namespace pods. I think in our action store, we have a step that is specific for deployments. So what we want to do is set deployment image. So what we can do is just put this here. So now for this one, we need to provide some of the parameters. So first of all, let's do with the name. So we call this replace image. 
So what we need to do, we need to set the parameter for this type of action. And this type of action is public on GitHub. So we can see the parameters that are required by going on uh, Kubia bot action stores, Kubernetes. And then we have actions. Our actions is for a deployment. So now if we look here for set deployment image, we see that we have a deployment name type of variable, then a namespace and then an image. So we go back. So we add the parameter. So the first one is deployment name. So the variable from before is selected deployment. Then we have namespace. Selected namespace. And then in the end we have image. And for us is image name. So we submit this. And now what we can do, we can uh, remove this step. Then the other steps are print job. So now, before we publish this workflow, what we can do, we can test workflow locally. On my terminal, I'm watching the namespace with all the deployments. So what I'm gonna do now is run the test. So here it's telling us if we want to proceed because this action is gonna be reversible. So we're gonna affect the real infrastructure at this point. So now we get the list of namespaces. We select web, then we get the list of deployments. And the only deployment that we have is Nginx. At this point, we want to insert the image. So let's say we want to replace the image from Nginx 1.14.2 to Nginx 1.23.3. So we click confirm. Now we're gonna get a summary of what is gonna happen. And we say yes. So now this condition is verified. So now we get the final notification before we replace the image confirm and as you can see in our terminal the image has been replaced okay so i think we are happy with this so we can publish workflow has been uh, successfully published great so now what we can do we can uh, go into our slack we can have a look so we can say hi inside the kubia app and this one is now gonna ask uh, if we want to run a workflow, yes, we want to run a workflow and we select the workflow, which is update deployment image, perfect run. Now from here, we should get pretty much the same we have uh, got on the UI. So we have the list of namespaces and we select web. And now from here, we have Nginx. Cool, so now we need to insert our image name, so it's nginx colon 1.23.3 and we press enter so deployment nginx will be rolled out in namespace web with image nginx 1.23.3 do you want to continue yes so now let's monitor our kubernetes cluster as you can see this has been deployed and we have the new image deployed there so this is just one use case with Kubia. You can create many other use cases like having approval workflows. These are extremely useful, especially if you need to have, if you are in a regulated environment and you need to have multiple approvals for uh, any operations against your cloud provider. So, and this one is not just for Kubernetes, it's for any cloud provider, even custom actions can be created. So you can literally create every single type of workflow that you want. And this should also simplify a lot the way developers interact with the infrastructure and with the DevOps or the platform team. So let me know what you think. And uh, thank you Kubia for uh, sponsoring this video. Hope we're gonna see uh, new features coming out soon from Kubia. I'm uh, really looking forward for this type of tools because they're gonna completely change the game for uh, DevOps and uh, platform team in, uh, in a small and big organization. So hopefully soon we're gonna see additional features. There is a generative AI available for AWS as well. And uh, soon the GCP is also coming. So you know that my channel, most of my videos are on uh, GCP. So really looking forward to create uh, complex workflows on the GCP side. So let me know what you think and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.